All right, guys, listen up. We're going to break down Palantir stock, do the chart update as we always do here on the channel, go over what the heck's going on, my thoughts, and maybe at the end of the video, we'll break down some other stocks. So if you all find value, hit that like button, make sure to subscribe, and don't forget to follow me on X at Stocks Talk Stocks and check out all the other links down below. If you want to join the Patreon, you want to get some free stocks for Moomoo, Moo, all of those are down below. And with that being said, guys, cheers. Let's dive right into the video. So it's about 3.15. 320 p.m. right now on the East Coast, and we have Palantir down over 1.2% as the entire stock market, all the indexes here in the U.S. at least, are in the green. We have the Russell up 0.2%, NASDAQ's up 0.7%, S&P's up 04 as the Dow's up half a percent, and we have the VIX down almost 5% on the day so in the midst of this beautiful green day everything's going up pretty much palantir is actually down 23 cents again down 1.3 percent and we're taking out the lows from yesterday let's dive into it let's break down the charts here and talk about what in the world is going on with these charts guys so on the intraday we hit a low of 17 dollars and 23 cents today which we pretty much downtrended for the first two-thirds of the day now yes we are seeing a bit of a relief rally but you guys can see earlier in the day we hit around 1780 that's where we opened up and in the pre-market by the way we were over 18 dollars per share so we hit 1805 opened up at about 18 or uh, excuse me 1780 dumped down to about 1750 saw a little bit of a relief rally but then we ended up going straight down to 1723 which again that was about uh, let's see a good chunk under the lows from yesterday being about 1770 and it was actually over a dollar under the highs from yesterday where we hit 1828 so we hit 1828 and today in the middle of the day pretty much we hit $17.23 that was a drop of 6% from the highs from yesterday not a good sign overall for the bulls in the very short term and now we are at about 1750 55 ish in real time as i'm making this video and we are above the moving averages we are seeing um you know a golden cross on the intraday chart here but guys we're still clearly in a downtrend on the intraday we're still under the lows from yesterday now let's say we did break out of this point heading into close let's say if palantir broke above uh, you know, 1770, we ripped past 18 and closed above 18. All right, kudos to the Bulls. That'd be great, but we're not showing any signs of that quite yet. So let me actually set my alert in the short term at 1770. Mark is that we're above. That's 14, 15 cents higher from where we are right now. So if that breaks, maybe we get, uh, you know, more momentum. I don't know. We'll see. But as of now, the Bears are in charge on the intraday. And on the five day, we are under the 180 SMA and we have a death cross, which is not a good sign. And if I show you this five day chart, let me clear the drawing set and get the channel tool out to give you a bit of a visual. We can see that we're still in this uh, channel. I butchered it, but you guys can see clearly uh, we're still on the channel. So we have to break the bulls have to break 1770 on the five day. And on the intraday, obviously, I showed you that. And that could be a spot where uh, maybe we start breaking out in the very short term. Maybe we start going back to 18, 1850. But as of now, guys, as of now, we're stuck in the lower mid 17s. Well, now we're in the mid 17s. And we'll see if we do push past that 1770 mark, which is what I'm watching very closely here in the short term and on the one hour chart pretty obvious guys we're still in a um, downtrend right death cross under both moving averages actually with the move that we saw this morning we broke under the 50 sma we were under or excuse me above that uh earlier today yesterday the day before that as well but now we're under the 50 sma and we're getting pretty close to the lows that we hit about a week ago at 17 dollars and five cents we hit 1725 earlier today so we're getting right near those lows guys we're getting right near those lows which if we do break 1705 guys we could be obviously going um lower from that point maybe we'll go to the bottom of the channel on the four hour time frame which i've covered time and time again here on palantir stock guys let me show you this quickly we might be going down 
to uh, you know, 16, 15, 50 even, uh, you know, 15, or excuse me, 16, 50, that general range. So yeah, I'd be glued to that 20 day chart. If I were you guys, that's what I'm personally doing right now. I'm watching this descending triangle. If I pull it up and show you, it's not the most beautiful looking descending triangle, but it is one. Nonetheless, you can see right here, we have lower highs being made into that support, which is right around 17, $17 and 15 cents. So the idea here is if we break under 17, the descending triangle plays out we might get a leg down, right? Let me set my alert mark is that we're below $17. If we do break that point again, leg down could be coming. Descending triangle could play out. And let me see here, guys, we might be going down again to the bottom of that channel on the four hour chart, which could put us 15, 16 bucks in that general range. And honestly, that'd be a spot where I'd consider um, you know, picking up some Palantir as a trade. I'm looking at it very closely on this dip, but I'm trying to really pinpoint my entry point, which anywhere near, again, low 15s, mid 15s, high 15s, that'd be a good spot, at least in my opinion. For me, I'm not telling you guys what to do, but that's where I'm looking to personally um, nibble a little bit of Palantir. What do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, but that's a quick update here on the charts again keep your eyes peeled on that 20 day chart and the 10 day chart uh, for that matter you guys can really see the descending triangle on this 10 day 30 minute chart so let me know your thoughts in the comments and let's quickly break down some stocks here we have a lot of other movers but actually wait before we do that don't forget to get up to 15 free stocks for mumu each up to two thousand dollars just use that link down below or go to stocksforfest.com slash mumu once you open up your account and fund it with at least one hundred dollars you get five stocks each up to two thousand dollars and listen to this if you fund your account with at least one thousand dollars on top of those five stocks you just got you get 10 more stocks each of those up to two thousand dollars as well totaling 15 free stocks and if you guys don't like the platform for some odd reason you can take out your deposits and you keep all the free stocks use that mumu link down below no strings attached so get on it use that link down below and full disclosure that is an affiliate link it helps out the channel i appreciate you guys as always and with that being said cheers let's talk about some other stocks quickly here before we do wrap up this video so it looks like we have roblox making a decent move right now up 3.4 percent and it looks like we have an ascending triangle clear as day here on roblox this could actually be on the verge of breaking out look at this we have a clear ascending triangle let me show you guys this right here higher lows being made over the past couple of months since the end of september and now we're pushing into that resistance at about 42 ish dollars which if that were to break we have a wide open window to the high mid high 40s in my opinion maybe we get the 45 6 7 ish dollars right in this ballpark so roblox really is one worth watching in my opinion for uh for that ascending triangle potentially uh to break out moving forward let me actually set my alert at 42 dollars and maybe 50 cents. Let me do that now. Mark is that we're above 42.50. So Roblox, RBLX, keep your eyes on that. It looks like um, NVIDIA is pushing up today. Let's pull up NVIDIA and see uh, what's going on. Looks like we are starting to bounce over the moving averages on the four hour chart. All right, but still trading under the highs from last week and from yesterday. So we'll see if it breaks above that 475, 480 level. So NVIDIA, watch out. For that, it looks like Coinbase is also moving up, although it's pretty overbought, so I'd be careful uh, with Coinbase. What else is uh, moving today, guys? CrowdStrike CRWD is one that, my goodness, look how overbought. Look how freaking overbought CrowdStrike is, guys. Jeez Louise, 250 bucks per share. It's uh, super stretched. I'd be careful with that one. Uh, but overall, that's pretty much it for the video, guys. A couple of stocks that we broke down here at the end. And Palantir, make sure you guys do your own research, though. Let me know in the comments your thoughts and hit that like button. Feel free to subscribe and follow me on X at Stocks Talk Stocks. And with that being said, cheers. I'll catch you all in the next one.